Hello everyone! As any professional will tell you, the World Series of Poker $10,000 Six Max event is one of the most anticipated and challenging competitions each year. In this 2022 edition, Team Winamax proved to be up to the challenge, with no less than four pros reaching the final day. First of all, there was Adrian Mateos, whom we followed to 24th place. We also passed by Pierre Calamusa, who was eliminated in 20th place before moving on to Davidi Katai. After the Belgian geniuses exit in 15th place, we have one last hope to see the team triumph before leaving Vegas, and that hope is Romain Lewis. Only 18 players remain. The final table is getting close. With 22 blinds in front of him, Romain knows he'll need a bit of luck to reach the final table and claim his second world championship bracelet. That's what he's going to try to do right now, still with Davidi in the running, as we're going to take a look back at the action from a new perspective. Come on, Romain, you are our last chance. Back at it, one of the biggest tournaments, if not the biggest of the summer. 18 players left in the 10K6 Max. Some of the best players in the world. I'm ready to give it my all. I don't have the biggest stack, but every decision I take from now on is gonna be one of the most important ones of my life. Ace-10, good enough for a raise here. Been playing with these players for quite a while now. I've got a good idea of their strengths. They don't have many weaknesses, but it's up to me to exploit them if I can find them. <coughs> okay, that's a good flop for me. Gonna continue with a lot of hands on our opening. Can get a lot of value here on the flop against the knee king and nine weaker races. Can go for a third pot here. I can sometimes go bigger also on this texture, it's fine. But with this sizing here, I can go for three streets if it blanks out pretty easily. Good news so far. Ooh, that's an interesting turn. Okay, it's a really good turn for me. I've turned two pair now. Even if I have many strong holdings here, this is when I'm going to try and look for a full double. I don't need to go too big on the turn. Have a little bit less than the pot on the river. Gonna go for just a little more than a half pot. Obviously, if my opponent has a better hand like Queen Jack. Well, I'm going to get out of the tournament, but you can also have very strong holdings and double me up. Hand like 9-10, King-10, Ace-9. You can also get here now with Aces and Flush Draw, Nines and Flush Draw, he's never going to fold. Okay, this is good news. Okay, I just want to see a low card now. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to wager most of my chips, maybe not all of them, because if I was bluffing here I'd choose the same size, it's better to have a few chips left at these moments so close from huge money. Doesn't seem like a big difference, but there is a difference. Maybe I can hand, have hands like Jack-9, Queen-9, maybe some pocket pairs as bluffs, but I have a lot of good strong holdings here. Ace-10 is definitely one I'm going to want to try and value. 
as much as I possibly can. Whew, okay. Big, big bet. Didn't get snap called, that's already the greatest news. Now if I can get a tank call here and go above a million ships, this would be the perfect start to the three tables left in this massive tournament. Come on, flick a chip in there. Find the hero call. No, okay. Good enough, good enough. Back above 30 blinds, it's comfortable stack. Six-handed poker with some of the greatest players in the world. Everything can go quickly. I've got to stay in the game. It's raised under the gun here from Alexander Colonius, one of, if not the best, Greek player in the world. The guy went jack seven suited, good enough for a defend. All right, that's not too bad. Flop the second pair. I don't think he's going to see about this flop too much. He will with a lot of his hands, of course. Still has a good range advantage here. I'll be happy to call and see a turn. Alright, the turn is interesting here. Sort of makes my hands from the big blind a bit stronger. Maybe a hand like 8 4 makes it straight now, 7 5, 6 5, 10 5 suited, all hands that I have that he doesn't really have from opening under the gun. If he bets again, it's his hand, but if he checks, I can maybe win the hand quite often. Alright, check, check. River's a nine. Okay. Really interesting situation here, I think. He can have many better hands than me, but one pair type hands, and I have so many good hands now. I have two pairs, I have a lot of eights, a lot of eights that make straights. I've got to find some bluffs here. My bluffs always nearly contain one pair. I think it's a good idea to bet out big here, my sixes and sevens. Check my tens and nines and try and make fold better hand here. Maybe I can have a hand like queen nine, king nine. Maybe sometimes an overpair that he decides to check back the turn with. If I go close to a pot size bet, I think this is a good bluff. Whew, okay. Doesn't look like an easy situation for him. My heart's beating quite hard. It's a really important pot for me already. Okay, gives it up. Great news. On to the next one, come on.
King 7 suited on the cutoff. It's a hand I want to open with my stack for sure. It's not going to be an easy one to get through. I've got these two aggressive players to my left. It's a hand I'm happy to play against the big blind heads up, but I know I'm going to have to face three bets quite often from these two players. Alex looks excited. Looks like the situation interests him, of course it does. 170. Ah, oh, he's taking three bet chips, here we go. 170. Okay. First thing rushing through my head is go in, just take the chips. It's obviously like but at the same time, I'm thinking about patience. I'm thinking about other hands I can have in the future. The situation will repeat itself. Maybe I'll have a better hand to fight with. Oh, I'm in between two minds here. All in or fold. Here I'm going to be patient. All right, turn players and a closer. Eight, two. We have 245 players remaining from flight 8 and B combined. Be patient. Once again, you are in payout, so it's being unfortunate. But I'm not going to let anyone lose. Until I run out of juice, hold it to three payouts. I really wanted to go with it. But I fold. Shuffle up and deal. Good hand, good hand. I wanted to go with it. I wanted to go with it. And then why you didn't go? Because, you know, I'm chilling, I'm having fun. I, I wanted to go with it, I wanted to fold as well, you know? I just chose the one I preferred. David, he just folded. Back in the cutoff. About 22, 23 blinds. And just a couple of bits ago. Only has three bet me in exactly the same spot. He goes for it again. I don't think I'll be able to fold my hand this time. He seems interested. Oh, he's going for it again. So it's like playing six max against some of the most aggressive players out there. Put you in really tough situations really often. The idea of jamming does make me stress a lot, especially at this moment of the tournament, not far from some of the biggest prize pools I've ever played for. At the same time, I told him that I wanted to go all in last time. He knows that I maybe had a hand where I could have gone all in, other players would have gone all in. If he takes this spotlight, he would just have too much edge over me. He'd have the position and the hand going with him. I think ace nine suited, like any ace suited, to be honest, is a good candidate to bluff for bet all in. Go with it now. Go with your gut room. All in. <sighs> okay, he hasn't snapped all. That's great news. It's uh, 750, I think. Seven eighty. Seven eighty to go, sir. Seven hundred eighty thousand. Normally if he three bet cool in his head he would have already put the chips in. I'm feeling quite comfortable right now. Mm 
All right, brilliant news. Went a bit more than 20% of my chips on that hand. And I'm showing him that it's not going to be an easy situation. He can't run me over. Not now. Not this moment of this tournament. Devi, he knows. That's the best Si jamais tu veux dîner, tu me, tu me dis. Et je t'ai mis le. C'est juste avec okay. ça quand même. Bon, il y a du temps, c'est enfin, ouais. dans 54 minutes. Le seul truc, c'est que vous aurez que. Ouais, c'est toujours la même, c'est une heure. Moi, j'ai un euh, rituel trop bien avec euh, mini sieste, mini douche et tout. Je kiffe trop. Ça va. Dans la chambre ou t'es Ouais, dans ma chambre, j'ai une chambre ici. Ouais. Manager, coach. Je l'ai mis à Snuff Suté. Hein À Snuff Suté. Ah, nice. Ça suffit. Coach Gaolin, here to give us some strength. It'd be amazing if we can go all the way with Davidi. He's already been there, he's been heads up of this tournament. I've been three left, but if we can go do it together, that would definitely be a highlight of my career. All right, open up the gun for my Greek friend over here. I'm looking down 10-7 suited. Obviously, I'm not going to defend with 30 blinds. Similar flops to last time, a bit more connected. I've hit the second pair. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. My bad, He seems really, really tense the dealer, nearly putting around the turn. He can decide to see bet or not. Like last time, I don't think he'll see bet all his hands, but if he does, he'll choose them wisely. See a bit here, around half the pot. Sizing makes sense. I'm not going anywhere right now. No point in raising either. Let's see a turn. This is a really interesting turn. Once again, I have many more nines than him, many more straights. Practically doesn't have fours. I have quite a few. I think I can use this turn to my advantage, betting small with a lot of my hands. I don't expect him to raise me very often, if ever. Then I can decide if I want to bluff the river or not. 65. sizing a bit too small. What's he doing with a flash draw here? What's he doing with an over pair? Big bluff. 
I don't think I bluff a diamond. I would always check a diamond. I'd check like a eight, a six, a five. A nine would be incredible. Maybe I'd value better a seven or a ten. Maybe bluff like queen, king, ace. Not so short, but it doesn't. It's a little ace called raising chips. Oh wow, he's just going for a big, big raise. Raise? Uh, I don't believe in that much, bizarrely, but he's put half my stack out there. There's really not much I can do. I'm just have to, gonna have to give this one up, I think. Nice answer. Nice answer. Yeah, not all pots are going to be easy at this table, I know that. Thank you very much. See you at the next study. Thank you. He's 10 on the button. Playing about 800k. A bit more than 22, 23 blinds. I've got a really good holding and I know I can get 3 bet jam by weaker aces here. Of course, if he Oh, he's gone all in. Wow. All of in. course he can have better holdings. I'm gonna be an underdog against Dace Jack or better, but hopefully he has worse. Okay, Ace Deuce, that's brilliant. Well, it's a really important pot, probably the most important pot of my World Series of Poker so far after nearly two months out here in Vegas. It just has to hold. No deuce. All right, three spades is good. No deuce. Oh, it's the deuce, but a spades. I've made a flush. That is great. <clears throat> Okay, gets through. My heart is racing really, really hard here. Just made it above 1.5 million. 770. Three tables left in the 10k6 max. This is massive. It's good. Set some standards. Oh, that's giving me really a lot of breathing space now. Really aggressive shove from Pavel Pizov, but it's a shove that the mathematics would agree with. Okay, I'm down at king nine. It's a good enough hand to raise. Probably one of the worst kings I will be raising, especially off suit. Let's see what Pavel does this time. Okay, he's gonna defend. Give me something nice, Dita. It's not the best flop. I do have a big range advantage on this flop. He never has pocket nines or better. I do. If I decide to bet this, I prefer the bigger sizing. I think that if I bet too small, it's going to induce him to raise too much. Such an aggressive player. I'm going to go close to the pot. Just makes it tougher for him to play back with all his back doors, but... I'm just realizing that this guy doesn't really care most of the time. He'll 
understand the situation. You can find raises even against bigger sizings. I mean, it's not easy for him to have a big hand here, but it's easy for him to understand that I don't have a big one. Hmm, he looks interested. The truth is, maybe even this big size will excite him more. He's more to win. He doesn't have to raise the big size. He can just raise like 350 or even 320. And there's really not much I can do if he does. Oh my god, he's going for it, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. Ah. Something in my head just tells me that he doesn't have it here. 853, I mean, he's never defending any of the two pairs off suit. He just leaves so few hands that he has value with. So many of them have back doors. I kind of want to just jam here, but. I mean, he'll look completely crazy on the cameras if he just snap calls me pocket freeze and I just show him the king nine off suit, but I really kind of want to go in here. Clicking it is not amazing because he can just decide to jam himself if he has like a 6-4 or a 9-7 or 9-6 or something. But I don't have it in me, I'm probably just going to let it go. Wait till the next hand, remind myself I don't need to win every single hand. I can get bluffed from time to time. I'll play Bevel. Deja vu. King nine on the button again. Still good enough to raise. I'm playing around 40 blinds now. What tricks has he got up his sleeve this time? All right, just a call. <laughs> Okay. Very dry board, one that I'm going to see bet with 100% of my hands, around a fourth pot sizing. Right, it's a situation where I expect him to either raise or fold. And knowing the guy, I expect him to raise way more than the average player. starting to race again pretty quickly because I really don't want to fold this king high on the flop and I'm thinking am I gonna have to call three barrels all in with king high here would be maybe one of the craziest hands of my life but we're gonna have to play it step by step street by street I'm not going anywhere right now I believe you can have so many different hands ranging from 9-6, 9-7, maybe even 9-10, I mean, 10-6, you name it, there's so many backdoors out there, I'm just deciding not to fall King-9 in this situation, this moment of this tournament against this player, it just seems too weak to me. See what happens on the turn, but this could be a really massive hand. I'm ready to play it. Hmm, okay, the king on the turn makes me sort of feel a little bit better, but brings no draws, so the fact is if he continues bombing it now, he's telling me that he has an eight or absolutely nothing. I expect him to shut down with quite a lot of his hands, but he's not a player that likes shutting down. He's 
fucking down its chips. That is not the head of someone that wants to slow down at all. It's going to 55. Big bet. Seems like a huge bet. Well, if I didn't want to fold king high on many turns, I'm definitely not folding two pairs, kings and eights. The dealer's made it easier for me right now, but still a very important situation where right now he has no apparent draws. Maybe some backdoor flush draws, but that's it. Oh, that's a really interesting river. I've now got a full house and I really do not want to see him bet. This is like the river which is the most impossible river to bluff ever. And I don't imagine he's gonna bluff it too often. He has so many hands now that just seem impossible to bluff. If he held, that's really good that he checks. Because if he was going big there, I would have tanked for a long time. Now I'm sure I have the best holding, but does it make any sense to bet? I'm just going to show it down, take some information in his hand, see if my read was right. Let's see, it, sure, Let's see the cards. <laughs> All right, four or five off suit. He was check raising me without the back door floss, just with the five high. Nice try, Pavel, nice try. Definitely the river didn't help him there. But I wasn't going anywhere. point of the tournament, about 1.5 in front of me, and uh, it's the last hand before the break. Just look down at ace-9 of suit. You have 1.3? What? I think this is an interesting situation. My friend over here, I know he's not the most aggressive player pre-flop, he does choose his holdings pretty well. But it's either I fold this ace-9 or I three bet, and I think our stacks are pretty nice for me to put the pressure on. I don't imagine he's a player that's gonna full bet jam me light too often here. So close to the big one in the 10k6 max, I could be wrong. But I think it's a nice situation to put the pressure on a bit. I have an ace, I'm blocking his very good holdings. I'm putting him in a tough spot with a lot of his hands and he doesn't want to spew it off just before the dinner break. If I can get this through, go to dinner with 1.6, 1.7, that would be great. Hmm, he looks annoyed. It looks like he's got calling chips in his hand. Doesn't look so comfortable. Let's put them back. Come on, you know you want to just get on the dinner break without anything crazy happening here. Give it up. Players, 
person look like he wants to fold now. It's been a long tank. I think he's deciding between cooling and going all in. Ay, ay. Oh. Not what I want to hear, not what I wanted to hear. Well played, sir. You put me in a blender for dinner. Buon appetito. We are friends, we are friends. Pâte à la vodka. Ah oui, J'ai pris vos pâtes rigatoni à la vodka. Ça fait pour 8 dollars. Je mets les morceaux de J'ai rajouté du chicken toi aussi. Il ne faut pas rajouter de chicken. Après, il y a un tireur qui est arrivé et qui nous met en plafond. Une minute, les gars. Allez, une minute. Allez, let's go, les gars. Good luck, it's a new tournament. <laughs> All right, we're back at it. The dream of making the final table with Mr. Kitai over here is still alive. Only a few hours to go until that final table. Maybe less. Des pâtes, c'est des pâtes froides qui a dans un truc là et un sandwich. Je mange ça en deux. Non, c'est le shop en bas au Balis là. Je vais acheter ça vite fait. Après, je fais 15 minutes de sieste, une douche. Sans frais. David is all in, he needs help. One time, good game. Well played, yeah. Davidi. Another great run for a great poker player and a great friend. Allez, good luck, bro. Good luck. As if David, after what 20 years of poker, never used it one time. That Come on, David. Oh, for one? He, he waited 20 years for that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you pick me, man? <laughs> 20 years of great success, he picks me for one time. <laughs> it makes me stronger. It's building. Four-handed now, 14 left. Two very aggressive players to my left. It's not going to be an easy situation, but it's one of the most important ones I've been handed. I haven't played four-handed too much in my life, but I'm ready for the challenge. Pocket eights here. There's only really one way I'm going to play it. That's by moving all in. All in. All in. All in. Get the blender 90s, that's important step. It wasn't even gonna induce much the <laughs> three situation. All right, all right. I'm not sure calling it good either. <laughs> Maybe trap with better holdings. Three bit they won't put rise, but having to get it in straight away there, Bates. Alright, another good holding. 30 blinds, King Queen. Up to a flop with a big blind. Eight to eight, seven. 
It's not a flop I'm going to be see bidding 100% of the time. In the hand of King Queen, I think I'm going to just check back. He's going to be just folding worse kings and worse queens. A lot of ace highs are still hanging along. So not much point in me see bidding this one. On the turn, if he bets, I'm just going to fold, of course. Not much to do when he checks. Could try and get a bet through now, but I'm not sure it's the best idea for the check back. Maybe you set him up on a king or a queen river. Okay, here is the queen. Maybe he can value cut himself now if he has a hand like queen jack, queen ten. Maybe he can find a bluff even. I shouldn't have too many queens, there's a lot I'm going to be sea betting on the flop. Probably ace queen and king queen, just the two queens I have. Wow, oh, he's going for a big bet here. I don't love it because he's not really the player to bluff too big, but. I mean, I just have too big of a hand, I think, if he has queen jack, he could be betting this size, he maybe even with queen 10. I'm just gonna call, hope he has a bluff, and wow, he has eight and seven. Ah, <sighs> not much I could do, I think there'd be a massive hero fall on the river if I could make it, but it does seem impossible. That one hurt. Ah, that one stings. What could I have done? Not you much, improved on the river somehow. What's that? You improved on the river as well. Oh, well, maybe you saw it. You're a big plan, please. Okay, very interesting hand here, a6 suited, I've got about 20 blinds, 22 maybe. It's a hand I'll be limping like many of my other hands. And with this one in particular, I hope that my friend over here will find a large percentage of his weak holdings to try and steal the pot right now. My plan is to limp and jam against a raise. Hopefully he doesn't snap call me and we're playing as an underdog, but this is one of the best situations I can hope for, just a raise and a fold. So much on my stack out there already. If we were playing much deeper, I would just call this, but around 20 blinds, it's a no-brainer for me. All in? All in. Okay, he hasn't flipped the chick in. That is good news. Asking for a count again. I think it'd have called me already if you had a hand like he said to race nine. Five, eight, eight Feeling quite comfortable here. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant. Back above the million mark, back above 25 blinds. This is the way we fight, four-handed. This is the way we fight in one of the hardest tournaments in the world. Got to put the stack in there with not the greatest holdings very often. That's how it works. Come on, I can do this. Just a few big hands and we can be final table of this massive tournament. Come on. This is a big hand, exactly what I just asked for. The big slick. Starting with a raise. If I can get three bet again, this would be a fantastic situation. OK, 
Okay, Alex is cutting up cooling chips. Okay, and we're going three way. There's about a third of my stack already in the middle. I'm gonna pray for a ace or king high flop here. Okay. King nine four with two spades is one of the great flops. I have many draws like continue betting with just a few really good hands. And the one I'm holding is definitely part of them. I'm gonna start with a bet and see what happens. I think it's important to not go too small here. I don't want to bet a third, I want to bet a bit more. Okay, I'm going for a half pot. A lot of hands he's not going to fold him in the bottom, 10 jack suited, queen jack suited, I think he's continuing to call, he has a few flush draws, ace high, he has of course worse kings, some nines, getting value from straight away, looks like he's interested in this one. Okay, we're heads up on the turn, give me something safe dude. Definitely don't want to see a spade. Okay, a three of diamonds is really nice. Now I'm picking up some extra hands that have big draws. Let's say I decided to open six, seven suited, five, six suited. Now I can have a straight draw and a flush draw. Add in 10 jack suited, queen jack suited, and that's already four combinations. I could probably go very big, even even all in here. I can imagine going all in with some draws. Isn't it a good idea to also just over bet the pot a little bit with my ace king here? Maybe go for a full double up straight away against a hand like King Queen or King Jack that doesn't find the fold. Okay, I'm going for it. Hold in. Okay, he didn't snap call, he doesn't have trips. Doesn't have a set, that's the best news. And now I pray. My tournament is back in the hands of the poker gods. And I'm really, really looking for a call right now. If he has a hand like a nut flush draw, you can imagine really dominating other flush draws. If he has a hand like King Queen, I'm massive, massive favour, and it's just so hard to fold from his point of view. Even a hand like King Jack is really hard to fold. Maybe if he has like King Jack off, but Jack of Spades could be the top range of his hero folds, but. Come on Alex, put the chips in, let's play this big pot right here, right now. I pick one spot on the board, I stare at it, I don't move. I don't try and play any games. It's one of the most important situations of my poker life right now. Stare me down, find something weak. The silence is deafening. If he calls in a double up here, I'm going above 50, 55 blinds. Just 12 players left from the 10k6 max, it could be massive. life as well. It's a big, big situation. It's a big ask. Come on. Say the words. Put a chip in. Do it for us. No. Good fold. 
to show this. Oh, I take the pot back up to 1.4 million. Exciting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the other players don't seem to believe me there. I'm kind of disappointed inside, but hey. Can't complain. You want one point three? And you one point two? One. Right, Pavel opening up here. I've looked down at King 10 suited in the small blind. I mean, I can dominate a few of his hands. I don't think I really want to three bet this one. Maybe if it could be a good idea. He's going to four bet jam me enough. I think I'm just going to try and see a flop. I'm offering a quite good spot to squeeze all in for Alex as well here. Another important flop coming. Three players. Hmm. Check. Best news would be if Pavel could find a check back here. I'm not sure though, he really doesn't seem to be the player that checks back very often. Not what I've seen in the last couple of days anyway. He's going for a third pot bet. I'm going nowhere for now. It's 80. 80. 80. But I really don't love the situation. Sorry, that's no good. I'll give you 80. I'll give you 80. Thank you. six on the turn is not helping me too much. I think he has a two barrel with a lot of hands here that makes sense. To be fair anything down to all the aces he's opening is definitely going to two barrel. He's not going to let me see equity with hands like king queen or maybe queen jack. Or tens he has a lot of value here. My best aces are definitely three betting free flop. He knows that. You can also two barrel a lot with hands of no equity at all, but I just don't think there's much I can do. Is probably going to put three barrels all in. I'm just going to fold it. Okay, Pavel opening up his button once more. I've just looked down a pocket pair. Okay, the first thing that goes through my head is that I want to put Sorry. it all in. 1.4. He has just about 30 blinds, I've just a bit less. 30 blinds, 27 blinds, something like that. I don't love it actually, I don't like going all in. I don't think he's opening too wide on the button. He knows I'm going to jam a right percentage. He's going to call the right percentage. Maybe I just want to see a flop here with 12 players left. 12, 13 players left. Yeah, one behind. I mean, I jam on most situations and most tournaments, but right now I think I'm just going to see a flop. Wow, what a flop. 
Unbelievable. 943 Rainbow. One is going to see back with all his hands. Probably going to two barrel a lot as well. Knowing the player, he could three barrel all in. So many bluffs. Depending on the turn and the river. But this is just dream situation right here. 13 left from the biggest deep runs of my life. And I just found three threes in a spot where I can never have a strong holding. Never at all. I'm never defending hands that make two pair. And I'm never defending Check. hands that make sets normally. This is amazing. What a turn card as well. The Queen of Hearts is just a beautiful card. I mean, it's going to continue with so many hands here. I can't imagine the look on his face when he's going to see that I'm going to have trip threes. I mean, I can't imagine him not betting the turn as well. I mean, what's he going to do with King Jack, Jack 10, 10, 8? Even hands like 6, 7, even random hands, maybe like King 5 suits, he's just going to continue going for it for sure. I would expect him to bet a bit more, but at the same time, we're so deep in the tournament and we don't have much stack that I expect him maybe to bluff on smaller sizing, it does make sense. Wow, this is just massive. I'm gonna take my time, call again, try and rip a hand like ace four, ace three, ace deuce, ace five that didn't want to go all in pre flop. The nine, I have a lot of nines. A lot would want to raise the flop, but at the same time, I could just decide to call two. What a situation this is. It's not the card I really wanted to see now. A few flushes get there. I have a few flushes in my range as well. Hands like King 3 of Hearts, King 4 of Hearts, maybe a hand like Ace Deuce, or just some Ace Highs I'm not going all in with. Pre flop, make backdoor flush. But at the same time, I still think he's going to continue bluffing here with a lot of holdings. Try and get a four to fold, try and get a nine to fold. Yeah, he's gone for the big bet. I'm just gonna call, I'm not going all in, there's no point. And oh my god, he's just turned pocket queen to Could have lost the gold pre-flop. Oh wow. It's good job I didn't lose it all. <laughs> good river. Good river. Oh, kind of. Four fifty? Feeling lucky I didn't jam pre-flop and eliminate from the tournament but at the same time i'm feeling distraught that i don't have the best hand here this is incredible yeah <sighs> table's breaking now with 12 players left but that one is tough to swallow you deserve that one <laughs> i'll keep this one for the fun table Thank you. oh you got one <laughs> you got it you got it with the queen on the turn you got it it's a weird feeling i feel <sighs> At the same time, incredibly unlucky, and at the same time, lucky that I'm still in the tournament and I've still got a shooting chance. I've got my eight lines. But wow, what a hand. Maybe it's just meant to be this way. Maybe I'm meant to suffer now for it to be even more beautiful in the future. But right now, I am suffering. What a hand. I'm 9 4 3 rainbow. I was like, double up. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna double. I'm like, you're just moving all in here. You're thinking the same thing. He's gonna bluff me all the time. Yeah, 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 best card. Ace of hearts six. Ace Talk about rubbing it in, mate. Queen's. <laughs> that, oh that was, uh, there we go. Right, Queen's oh, sick. Yeah. Oh, God. And then he jammed it pre, and I was like, no, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. All right, 12 players remaining. Buttons in the three. They're still playing 20, 40, 40. Shuffle up and deal. Uh, yeah, okay, I've got to get back into it right now, but oh, my head is elsewhere. I'm still back on that table, still back in that hand. Played so many big hands together, I thought I had trapped him. I thought for once I had him there, but it wasn't to be. This is Okay. 
has an ace, that's good. Oh, the other one's really not great, the deuce. How much do I have exactly? 320. Oh god, I hate going all in with these sort of hands in this situation. Do I have to? This big blind hands he's followed to me on the hijack. I mean, if I fold another three hands, I'd be the third of my stack. I can't afford to, I'm gonna have to go all in here. And pray. That's good news. Come on, buddy. Yeah, okay. This feels like a big win. Getting it through with a hand that bad. Winning 30% of my stack back over 10 blinds now. Who knows? Who knows what can happen? This big blind is important. Just paid 80,000, 40 for the ante, 40 for the big blind. So I'm back to 320 if I don't get anything out of this hand. And it looks like. I didn't even see. It's not sporting, I didn't see. <laughs> it looks like Pavel's interested in this hand. Does he want to finish me off? Do you want to finish the work? Come on, dealer, give me a good hand here. I want to defend myself. I don't want to just lose my blind like this. It's a really important hand. Down the one seven. Ooh, pocket sevens. Well, that's what I was asking for. Easy shove. Just looking at the other table to see if there's any bust outs because there's a $11,000 jump. Doesn't look like any actions happening on the other table. I'm just gonna have to go with my hand and I'm getting called quite often. Hopefully gonna win a flip or something. Deserve a flip after that hand. Especially against Pavel. Come on. All right, it's snap cool then. Oh, it shows me pocket sixes. That is way better than the flip. All right, what a way to get back in the tournament. Back to 20 blinds. Come on, dealer, I just have to avoid a red six. And no, it's the first card I've seen. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Got that. Wow, this one is tough. Busted hundreds of tournaments, thousands of tournaments in my life. But this one definitely ranks up there with the toughest busts I've ever had to suffer. Wow, it's part of the job. It's part of the game I've chosen to play, it's a part of the life I've chosen to live. It's hard to accept sometimes. This one is definitely harder than others. Beaucoup de l'arnaque quoi. Euh, je fais, j'ai 28 blindes. Euh, je suis pas trop bête chauffe, paire de trois boutons, big, big blindes, euh, boutons. 9, 4, 3. T'as une dame, il y a deux dames. Je perds pas tout parce que oh. les ça fait flush qui rentre et oh. il bête pas tout mon stack. Et, et après deux sets contre deux six suite. Ouais. Yeah, it's one of those days, coach. It's one of those days where the words are not easy to find. I'm looking at the prize pool right now and I'm thinking, what if, what if? If I have to accept, I have to move on. It's not going to be easy for the next few days, but it's life as well. It's a cool life. I love this life I've chose to live. But right now, I prefer to just hide, run away, not see anyone for the next 24 hours and go again. But it's that one of the last series, one of the last tournaments of the year. All I can say is that I'm happy about the second part of my Vegas. I was stuck so much after three or four weeks. I had a run in the 3K, a run in the main event, and this one that manages to break even my Vegas. Of course, I would have preferred a second bracelet. Of course, I would have preferred a final table on this massive event, but we can't have everything with one.
There's no doubt about it, Romain. You'll come back stronger and go for more final tables and a second world champion bracelet. In the meantime, we won't forget the show that Team Winamax offered us throughout this World Series. Adrian Mateos' fourth place finish in the Super High Roller, Francois Peralt's sixth place in the $5,000 8 Max event, and of course, Joao Oviera's second bracelet, which allowed the team to leave the WSOP with a trophy in its luggage for a third consecutive year. For us too, it's time to pack our bags. After 30 episodes live from Las Vegas, this season ends here. But don't worry, we'll have the opportunity to return to the unique atmosphere of the World Series of Poker, and your favorite series will soon be back. In fact, as we close this final chapter, the next episodes are already in the works. Thank you for all your loyalty and passion. We look forward to seeing you soon for a new season of Inside the Mind of a Pro.